Within the last hour, FHP investigators released the name of the teenager who died, as well as the name of the person behind the wheel. FHP identified the girl as 14-year-old Gina Asensio, the driver, 58-year-old Michael Casey. Crash happened just before 7 o'clock this morning on Eagle Harbor Parkway. Channel 4's Kamasi Aaron joins us now with the latest on the investigation. Kamasi. Well, Bruce, we also learned in that update from the Florida Highway Patrol that Asensio was actually in the crosswalk when the driver traveling on this road here uh, hit and killed her. We were able to speak with someone who went to school with her who knew Gianna very well, and he said it's just very difficult to think about what happened here. Now, here's what we know so far. Florida Highway Patrol says just after 6.30 this morning, a Mercury Grand Marquis driven by 58-year-old Michael Casey was traveling eastbound on Eagle Harbor Parkway. 14-year-old Gianna Asensio was trying to cross at the crosswalk from north to south at Woodlake Drive when the car hit her and she died at the scene. Troopers say Asensio was on her way to her bus stop. She was trying to cross between two cars. Right now, they don't believe speed was a factor, but charges are pending depending on how this investigation comes out. Authorities closed down Eagle Harbor Parkway and Woodlake Drive for several hours while they investigated here, and the roads opened back up around 10. We learned some things about Gianna. She attended Fleming Island High School, and school officials released a statement saying that their hearts and prayers go out to her family, and they also have a crisis team on campus with grief counselors there to help students. We spoke with a student who was friends with Asensio. It just felt horrible. Like, she had so much to offer the world, and like, in life in general. Like, there's so much stuff she can do that would have helped, like, the world. Now, according to the Clay County Sheriff's Office, now at the time of this accident, there was not an active school zone or crossing guard working in the area. There is one here in the area for the elementary school, but that crossing guard does not get here until 7:15, which is about 45 minutes after this accident happened this morning. Reporting live in Clay County, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station.